hello um, YouTube world. Wish everybody well all around the globe. Wherever there's war, I hope it stops and become peaceful. Wherever there's violence, I hope it stops and become peaceful. I hope we all prosper out the gang culture and elevate as better people. And I hope that our children become nothing that we all had became. I hope that our children become greater and better people than we uh, end up being. But uh, I'm here on this video to speak on uh, sagging of the pants in the gang culture and the other myths and rumors and whatever about sagging. Now. Nah. I'm smoking a little weed on this video, so y'all gonna have to bear with you, boy. But here's the thing. Now, I heard the myth about the slave owner bucking the bull. Supposedly, the bull, a strong slave, male slave who shows some means of rebellion or aggression that the slave owner would uh, somehow get him some, to submit in front of everyone you know, they they abuse him in front of everyone and supposedly pull, pull his pants off of him and, and rape him in front of everybody. To disgrace him. And take the fight and the courage out of the rest of them. And uh, supposedly once the bull been bucked, they made him sag his pants as a reminder of what happened to him. That's one myth I heard. Now, the second myth I heard was in the penitentiary that uh, they made the homosexual sag their pants to identify them as a homosexual. I heard the myth about the prison. Here's the thing, yo. I never been to prison, cuz, so I can't. I've been to California Youth Authority. Three years, three months, 26 days. Um, Fred C. Nettle School for Boys in Whittier, California, summer 1977. The case I caught was May 31st, 1977, at Wilson Park. But I had a case pending for two armed robberies and an assault. Because they said I poked the uh, victim in the stomach with the shotgun. And uh, on that day, May 31st, 1977, I was in court for it. Let me get my weed lit. I was in court for it, y'all. And uh, we recessed for lunch. We recessed for lunch. Me and the homie too sweet had them had them robbery cases. And Too Sweet was in the county. He couldn't make the bill. And I was a juvenile out on my own parents' of court um, ordinance or whatever they call that shit. You know what I mean? And my daddy was a cop at the time. A reserve cop for Compton PD. He was one for nine years. And a little bit after I went to jail, my daddy, uh, they oust my daddy. But I'll tell that on another video. But anyway, uh, 
out of the morning court. So we was recessing for lunch, May 31st, 1977. God, never forget this day. In the court out, juvenile court, cop the juvenile court was on the Compton Boulevard between Rose and Spring, right next to the bank, on the corner of Spring, Compton Boulevard. In between the little stove at the little gap right there where you swing around the back side of the building and all you had to be familiar and all that. Me and Baby Crip Spot was on the back side of that too at this vacant building. We we know how to get in from the roof. Me and Baby Crew used to climb up on the roof shit. We used to drink Thunderbird and pineapple juice in there. But uh anyway, uh we was recessed for lunch. So as we me and mom was heading the road going back to the house, a whole lot of people was hanging up at the park and shit. And I told mom, I said, hey, I'm gonna go hang up at the park for a minute. And she said, nigga, uh, we gotta be back to court. Don't you, you know, don't get your ass in there. I'm gonna go up at the park and hang up for a minute. So that's what I did. I go up in the park. So as I was cutting through the park, the, that's when the guy showed the money, but the money was fake money. I didn't know, but it looked real. You know, the guy showed me money, whatever. Then later on, my cousin showed up. So I, I knew my cousin had some balls. I'm like, cuz, you gonna get this money real fast. He's like, What's that cost him in this He got to flash a whole bunch of money on me, et cetera, et cetera. I said, um, let's get this money. I said, I said, uh, just get the money and shit and come on and we split it up with it, whatever, right? So I said, I'm going to give you this thing, you know, you know, I'm going to give you this thing so he won't give you no problems turning the money over. So I give him the thing. I go, go to the homie house from, from the Grandies. He that lived in the hood. I ain't saying them names or nothing, but I go to Cuz's house, get the thing. So he kind of need my thing. So I give him the thing. So I say, here, Cuz, here, here. Move the money over here. Woo, woo. So I ain't even go. I ain't go. They go up in the park. Him, another little nigga that was with him. Come find out that dude was a mob. Trying to be a mob. <laughs> I had a crime you know, that was for mobs. A lot of niggas don't know that.